Welcome to Nest. We're going to show you how to replace your Nest Yale locks batteries. We'll also show you how to open the door if the batteries are completely drained. The Nest app will send a notification when your locks batteries are getting low, so you'll have plenty of time to replace them. Everyone who shares access to your home with the app will get the notification too. The lock will also speak to you to let you know the batteries are getting low. The battery is very low. Replace the battery soon. And you'll see a red battery light on the lock's keypad. You'll need four standard AA alkaline batteries. We don't recommend rechargeable batteries since they may not be powerful enough. Use the tool that came in the box with your lock to remove the back. You can also use a thumbtack. Just insert it into the hole and press down firmly. Grip the top and pull straight back. Put in fresh batteries and pop the back on. If you didn't have a chance to replace the batteries and they're completely drained, your lock will be offline in the app. The keypad won't light up and you won't be able to lock or unlock your door. Don't worry, just hold a nine volt battery on the contacts located on the bottom of the lock. This will give it enough power to let you lock or unlock it. The keypad will light up when it's charged. Then you can enter your passcode on the keypad. Your lock will remain offline, so you won't be able to use the app to control your lock until you replace the batteries. To learn more, visit our support site.